Nothing is better than a young guy in his sexual prime. Yeah. You when you're hitting your sexual prime as a woman, because our shit gets better after we turn 30. Their shit gets worse. So. Cap. All right. First of all, like, dude, I've been pro. Women always like have a reflection. What do you expect? Two women talking together? That was gonna aggravate each other. Women know their the clock is taken, right? Women always know that the clock is taken. They always know that. So I don't know why they think oh man gal, but what I'm saying is like older men are dating younger women, but I never it, it's more easier for an older guy to date a woman woman than the older woman to date a younger guy. You know what I mean? So let's see how it goes. Oh, got a young guy who's like many times. Young, you're not gonna get that from older. They gonna know you lying though, you know what I mean? Everybody knows no such thing as good 36 year old pussy. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be 10 times sneakier than you'll ever be. Facts. Um, if I do cheat on you, it's because I have little to no feelings for you. Facts. Oh, and when I do cheat, it's going to be more emotional than physical. Facts. Mm. Oh, and if you catch me, I'm definitely going to play victim and flip the entire situation on you. So, hmm, yeah. All right, so let me tell you guys, right? W women are more sneaky than men, okay? Do you know why? For example, right? Because it really happened to me before, okay? It happens, okay? So, for example... A guy, it's kind of hard for a guy to like talk about, yo, it's kind of, it's kind of hard for a guy to be like, yo, uh, your girl is sleeping with me, you know what I mean? So it's kind of for a hard, for hard for a guy to be like, hey, yo, hey, your girl is sleeping with me, but like a girl, the feelings get hurt real bad. Like, for example, like I used to date like two girls in college, right? So I used to, I used to date these two girls in college and one of them were best, like they were not best friend, right? So example, I took the other one, like the, um, I took the other one, like a date and I took the other one to another date, right? Cause what happened? I broke up with the other one, so he went and tell told his friend that, oh yo, this guy's a player and stuff like that. So, for a guy, it's kind of hard for a guy to actually tell. Bro, I've seen guys like f their um their friend girlfriend, and nothing happened. Like they'll be f in their their best friend girlfriend, and he would say nothing about it. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Like women are way more sneaker. For example, you want to cut a girl's um um cheating, bro. Check under your name, like especially like any nails, like check under their friends. Like, if a girl have a friend, like a friend list, like have a friend group, make sure you type in like you read that friend group or anything that I have with females. Sometimes they change, they change names. Girls are way sneakier, guys. Like, yo, I've man, let's continue this video real quick. What do you think he's in love with you, but you just had that issue. All right. All girls have that issue, okay? For example, it's more easy to get any girl. Not trying to say you can manipulate them, but it's more easy to get a girl who, like, the father's done the house. Like, sometimes, like, like girl, girls are more emotional than, than guys. Like, for example, like, for example, I like, just see, just see, like, you break up with a, with a girl because, like, right now, um, for example, like, when I used to date a girl, a girl, like, still was hang, hang over with this guy because the guy broke up with him. So, anytime... A guy broke up with with a with a girl. The girl kind of fell entitled to like, yo, I'm pretty, I'm D. Like, why did why did he break up with me and stuff like that? So, like, you, like you see what I'm talking about? Like, that's 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 what that's all always happened like that. So, let's continue. Bro, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was. That was messed up. I think that's mom and dad. That's mom. That's that's mom and daughter too. Come on now. What a shame. And then those like these are the same women that would go later on and be like, man, my man. Oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, oh. Uh, I don't know why I got into this relationship. Oh man, I have so many. But like those are the people. Those are the women that would regret their life decision after on. They'd be like, man, I don't know why I choose this guy. Oh my god. If I want it, then I'm gonna take it. Period. You oh, get raped. You get raped. <laughs> Damn. Why you gotta get raped though? Because there is no no. You tell me no, and I want. All right. So this is the worst part of it all. Okay. For example, <laughs> this is the worst part of it all. This is the worst part of it all. Okay. So um, we are double standard in life. It's always double standard in life. For example. My friend, like, when it comes to abuse and stuff like that, like, and anything kind of rape, it's a very, like, hard topic to talk about, but 
um for example like the high school i used to go i used to go to uh this teacher rape um they still like he didn't rape but um uh, technically it's rape because because the um um the teacher i used to go to high school um have sex with this um underage girl right so he has sex with under she has sex um age with under underage girl guess how many years she got for having sex with an underage boy she got three years bro she got three years three years in jail she got three years in jail imagine if that was a a guy imagine that was a coach Ima just just imagine this, this is a double standard that we're talking about right imagine if that was a guy or or, or coach imagine what like what would actually happen like that would be bad like it really happened i was funny like she only got two years in jail for molesting a a a, a, a i think it was a 15 year old boy in high school so Imagine if that was a guy, he would have been sent to jail for like ninety years old. He man, he would have probably been sent sent to jail for almost like he would have probably got a life sentence. So this is a double standard I'm talking about. And then that's the funny part. And then women abuse men, and men just laugh about it. It's become like a laughing issue. For example, my friend, my friend was telling me about how um her ex like was hitting him, like was like abusing him and stuff like that. And he was telling people about it, and and, and people were like. People were just laughing about it. People were not taking the thing seriously and stuff like that. So let's continue. You my nigga. You're gonna give That's it your that. dick. There's no no. Period. There's no no. There's no no. Like you drunk off Henny and you, you ask for dick and you say. Nah. I probably won't even ask. I just take it. Oh lord. See oh, that? Oh. Entitled mindset. Y'all think I want it, I get it. So like most of those songs are like the same thing. I want it and I get it. Like it's kind of, it, it was kind of a. A bad thing. They kind of think I wanted to get in kind of stuff like that. But let's continue. God. <laughs> that is not right. Cause he gonna like it. So he gonna like it. He said he gonna take it. He gonna like it. Yeah. So, ain't got no choice. No choice. No. No choice. Well, I used to be a gangbang girl. Um, I used to do gangbang parties, and I would get fucked by like 50 dudes a night. So I've probably been fucked by like 500 dudes. If your man is doing any of these things that I'm about to mention, he's doing the bare minimum. And sis, I want you to know that you deserve the best. I don't know why men be getting praised for being loyal. That is the bare minimum. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? A man respecting you, the bare minimum. A man consistently communicating with you, bare minimum. A man telling you how he feels and where he sees things going with you, bare minimum. A man showing you that he's trustworthy and honest, bare minimum. A man courting you and actually being on time and doing what he says he's going to do, bare minimum. See, women always expect more. They always expect more. I want everything. I want everything. You know what I mean? So.